So now let us work with safe replication inside of Element 3D. So to work with safe replication, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go into scene setup right here. And I'm going to work around with the preset object. Let's say I'm going to select this asteroid right here and I'm going to press OK. So you can see that this is the asteroid and I can go over here uh, and resize this particle just like that. So I can resize this out right over here in the particle look section. Let me just create another layer uh, to make to give it a background color. So let me use something like a, or like an orange um, just like this and I'm going to press OK and press OK. That's my orange solid layer. Let me just add in a drop shadow here. So I'm going to add in an inner shadow so I can give it a gradient effect. So I'm going to increase this in size and there you go. There's the shadow gradient effect right there. So I'm going to go over here and you can see that I have resized the particle. And now let us go into the particle replicator section. Right now you can see that the particle count is one. And if I want to change into something like 10, that nothing is actually changed because we haven't chosen the replicator shape yet. So I can actually go over here and select something like a ring. And now you can see that the chains is there and the ring is there. So now what I can do is I can actually scale this in the particle replicator. If I were to scale, you can see that it spreads more apart because the shape increases and not the object. So I can increase the Y as well. And right now you don't see the changes because uh, there's no shapes right there. Uh, so you can also go over here into rotation and rotate the shape and you can see that the rotation of the shape actually happens just like that and there's 10 shapes right now I can do 20 and you can see that 20 shapes appear Right now you can see that these are the particle count 20 and it's in a shape of a ring right there just like that So this is the particle count position and so forth. You can also increase and decrease the shape scale uh, You can work around with the shape XYZ and so forth just like that there's also particle repeats and other stuff like that that you can work around with uh, once you do uh, once you go around. So now let us uh, set up the scene in different ways. So right now you can see that ring is being selected. I can also go over here and select point, which brings it back to one point. That's 3D grid, and now you can set it up as a grid right here. So I can do something like four uh, by four by four and certain grid is actually created just like that. So I can scale the shape down just like that and you can see that the grid stays in place just like that. I can also go over here and you can see that I can have it in a plane like surface right here. So I can increase shape scale, I can ex uh, expand it out and it stays in a plane like shape just like that. I can also increase the layer size. You can see that I can decrease and increase the layer size right here. Let me just uh, scale the shape right here and you can see that now there are three layers just like that because I increased the layer of it. So I'm going to scale uh, this out. So I'm going to go into scale X, Y, Z and I decrease the Y so that I can actually see this. And you can see that 20 particles are actually there. So I can do the same with the spear as well. And you can see that there's uh, the layers all around. 3D grid, there's a multiple layers. Let me just go to the plane, there's the material multiple rare and even ring. You can see that there's multiple layer that is three layers. So if I were to do two, you can see that now. All right, so this is shape option. I'm going to go into two layers right here and you can see that the numbers of the particles are the same, but the layers are two. And if I were to go on to one right here in the layer, then it goes back onto being a, a single layer. So over here, you can see that there's many objects. You can also go to spear, which actually creates the spherical shape right here. So let me just uh, decrease the particle shape effect right here. So I'm going to go into the particle look, uh, decrease the particle size right here. And you can see that it is a single spear. So let me just increase the particle count and you can see that it turns something like a pineapple. And I can even scale this out. And all of these are an, uh, can be animated just like that. So I can scale. Uh, let me just go over here and scale the Y axis. You can see that I can scale that out just like that. I can squeeze it out over here. I can scale the Z axis right here just like that. And I can scale the X axis as well. So you can see that this is how we can scale the object just like that. So now there are different uh, options that you can work with. So there's the ring, there's the plane, there's the 3D object and so forth. 
So that is how you work with shape replication inside of Element 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.